Don't be a stranger in the night Take a chance for some romance Don't cover your eyes We'll love trees Know you better than anyone else It's time you let your guard down Go with someone like me video as you could probably tell by the intro we are back with these little googies today in road to fame phoenix has returned i guess they were both pretty shocked about it fran seems really really happy about things they now know that she is back and she is not a ghost anymore of course she is still where's she at here she is she's still dealing with the fact that she knows that sammy tried to sacrifice himself for her which she'd hate because she kind of feels like a big sister to him but also that lilith did and lilith Lilith is gone now, so there's a lot of weight on her shoulders. She also knows that she um, like took Lilith's life almost, but Lilith was pretty old. So I'm really not sure how much time that gives her. So I think it's changed her mindset in a big way and kind of forced her to like, if she wants stuff, she just needs to go for it and get it because she doesn't know how much time she has left. So this has really given her a lot of inspiration from life. Oh, oh and she needs a wee. Sorry, babes. We'll get out your face. But also, as you guys can see, she is carrying the mark of somebody who has given up their life for her, which is although she, when she was revived, she had a little wiggly gone. She doesn't normally um, and she's taking it off now and this is the now color of her hair. She no longer has the black Villarreal hair because she was risen from the dead. She now has white hair. So quite a big change. Even more creepily, her urn is just kind of sat here in uh, Fran's room, which is super weird. And she's just kind of feeling very down about life. I think I'm also gonna do is book her in for this celebrity cleanse so that she can remove this super emotional quirk. I don't know if it's gonna like lose her celebrity level, but I don't want her to get to the point again where she could die of a sad bomb. Summer, you can practice in a little bit of your acting. And Franz having a little nap on the bed. He's also joined a group uh, called the Major Chords, which is a music group apparently. So he's gonna try and like get himself a little bit more in the music scene. Ooh, and he's woke up feeling ambitious and adventurous. You go, Fran. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had to download a mod, so I'm like, I'll check out my videos doing. And I can't not watch this end bit. I just can't not watch it. It's too emotional. I bawled my eyes out editing this. I'm sure you guys will be happy to know. Oh, it's too much. I can't start crying right before I start recording. Oh my gosh, I bawled so much. I knew you guys would be sad watching that. Summer has got an acting gig, but she's feeling really insecure. It's actually Winterfest today, but I don't know about you guys. I can't throw a winter when it's like literally the hottest day of the year. Well, no, we had a really nice heat wave couple of months ago but like literally today was so hot we sat and ate, sat out, ate lunch in the garden for the first time so i'm really sorry but i can't throw winterfest like it's so weird it's so weird and somebody needs to know some guitar for her gig so i'm gonna see if fran i know he doesn't like people touching his guitar let, let me let me grab it please just let me grab it fit uh someone needs to practice so if you could like mentor her, her that would be so nice i don't know why i said that so weirdly okay so here we go fran is giving little summer a little bit of a mentor she's probably feeling a bit sad after not winning the starlight accolades i also don't think she ever saw phoenix as a ghost properly like i don't know if anyone could see her except fran so i guess for her it's like oh hey you're back you've got difficult hair you're really sad about lilith staff like we heard that that she died Oh, because you just told us. <laughs> but basically, yeah, I don't think she ever knew the full extent. I think only, like, Fran, Sammy B, and Lilith knew. <gasps> and oh my gosh, her record label are like, 
Oh my gosh, stop being dead. You need to make us some new music. Wow, okay. Also, sorry, the mod I was like downloading while I was watching Broken Dream, what's up, Broken Dream, Stranger Dream. Stories, uh, was a mod for Fran. It is meant to be a mod that works really well with Get to uh, get Famous, but it's like a singing aspiration. Uh, at least that's what I thought I got. But this is basically the skill tree for it. So it's actually not like an aspiration, but it does lead to like concert offers and stuff. So what I think I'm gonna do is change his aspiration to, what is it at the moment? Ast actor, I'm gonna change it to musical genius. I just think it fits him a lot more. So just so you guys can see, this is the new kind of look for Phoenix. She's wearing kind of dark eye makeup, but when her eye makeup isn't dark, you can see that she does look like a uh, pretty different now. She's definitely kind Come back a little bit of a new woman with a little bit of a brighter attitude on life and also i was gonna get her a tattoo for abel but then i was kind of like one abel got a tattoo for her of phoenix and she wants to kind of continue that tradition but what she's done is got wings on her back to symbolize lilith sacrificing her life for a little of her guardian angel basically she also got a bit more tattoos on her arm while she was there just because she loves a good tattoo okay so i'm kind of wondering how does he record the music that he's like oh it's here but it's not working no 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 what does all this mean oh my gosh oh <gasps> he can upload some of his songs that he's got already onto soundcloud okay we know that frank can sing but i think he needs to practice professional singing there's probably oh my gosh don't do it like that though but there's probably some like nuances to professional singing that there isn't to uh like regular singing so i'm gonna get him on that this celebrity cleanse is actually taking seven thousand years and it's driving me a bit mad you've hit your guitar level well done make sure your celebrity level doesn't drop being dead is not good for your celebrity level is the vibe I'm getting. And you know what? You know what? We've never done for a little summer room. We've never... How do I organize it? How, how long have I been playing this game? How do I not know how to organize an event? We've never had her do a meet and greet. So she's dropped some little uh, messages, like just done a little bit of uh, tweeting and whatnot. Oh, Fran's spotlight's fading too. Man. Uh, but I wanted to do a fun meet and greet. She will get fame and reputation. Gold level gets them a Sims Choice Award. Oh! <gasps> Yes! I'm the celebrity, it's me. Click here to invite the fun. Surely the funds just come. Why do, why do I have to invite funds? Well, Kobe will come along to support me, I guess. I don't know if Dexter's my biggest fan right now. I'll ask him if he wants to come anyway. Where's my mentor, dude? I need to get him to come. Oh, I need my PR manager to come as well. Where's she at? Noelle. Yeah, I'm just basically inviting as many people as I can. Come and see me, gang. 73. Okay, that might be a bit much, but <laughs> this might crash my game, but let's give it a go. And let's do it Studio PHB. Okay, I've never done this before, so I'm kind of excited. Okay, so it's basically I have to socialize with fans, take selfies with them, tell stories, and have drinks. Sounds easy to me. Let's get some autographs on the go. Kind of awkward that I'm doing it to my friend, though, but okay. Oh, little Sagey has come. She's probably like Sage. A little sis. Why, why is she? Your hair gray. I don't even know what's going on with you right now. Let's blow a kiss to our boyfriend. That's the fans are gonna love that. And Noelle keeping a watchful eye from afar. Ooh, blowing a kiss over. I wish it wasn't so rainy. Look at this, doing a good service for the fans. You've dressed very casually for this, but I actually think they'll quite like that. And oh my gosh, they're all waiting for me inside. <gasps> you guys. Oh my gosh, let's just throw some shade at this Holly Alto. She won an award uh, at the uh, last award show, which we didn't. So we're going to be like, oh, hi, you a fun. We'll take a photo with you. Shade. That's me pouring shade. I don't know why you should pour it. You should throw it, but I pour shade. Also, I'm kind of annoyed that she's just come over to my meet and greet and is like trying to take over it. Like, this is Summer's meet and greet. So like, Holly, what are you even doing? Rude. Oh man, actually bringing Kobe to uh, my meet and greet might have been a little bit of a bad idea because people are going crazy for him and look at him he just looks like a celebrity doesn't he like he just stands out quite a lot and everybody's going absolutely crazy for him at my meet and greet no less oh my gosh look how expensive drinks are it's crossed out the regular price and put them as like double price Wow. I'm gonna get a Sims and Pollock. I don't even care. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, that might be why he's charging more. He's really good. Oh, guys, look at the holy shade. Look at the holy shade. Here's my autograph. Here's my autograph, babes. Oh, guys, we're gold. We've gone gold. We have been here till almost 10 p.m. And she didn't even get time to have a drink. 
So, you know what? You've got to hand it to her. She's done a really good job. So, I'm going to end it early just because, like, it's late. She has got gold, though. She so got paid £760 for it. And a gold award is in the household inventory. Okay, that's awesome. Let's see if Kobe fancies... I don't think her and Kobe have ever, like, we only ever done the woos, you know? I still am not quite sure how much of this relationship is, like, manufactured for showbiz versus real. But I'm kind of intrigued to find out. Oh, and look, she finally got her Sims Mapolitan. Five hours later. Yeah, you, you've you earned that. You've earned that today, oh. Summer. Ooh, okay. So that did... Uh, sending her off for a day did not help with this whole fame quirk thing. Because the... Oh! Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it totally did. She doesn't have it anymore. Yes. Okay, that's good. You need to go and make some music. I know you're in a bad mood, but you've just got her, okay? Okay, so she's in here grooving some pretty cool music, I have to say. Summer is in here with Kobe watching a movie. I'm, he's got a proper fame walk, hasn't he? I'm kind of intrigued to see if on their own they like... Like I said, I just don't know how much of this is legit and how much is not. At least she's uploaded a track. Fran is still practicing his professional singing. Although I can't... Can't hear anything coming out your mouth, Fran. And you've got your mouth closed. So I'm intrigued as to how you're doing this. And one thing I noticed about Kobe is he drinks an awful lot of alcohol. Like, I am forever watching this guy drink. And yeah, there's, uh, there's not much natural romance going on. I mean, where are you off now, friendo? Where are you doing this slow old walk to? <laughs> Where's the slow walk going? Oh, you're off into Fran's room. Dude, you can't You can't just go into Fran's room. It's because the PC's in there, you know. Everybody wants to get on the PC. I'm going to have to, like, lock from uh, Fran's... Oh, my gosh. They've even broke the script for their own game. Like, what? Like, what are these? I wanted to do it for everyone except household members. There we go. Only Fran's allowed in here now. And Salem. And Salem. And then I'm gonna see. I don't know what any of these <laughs> interactions mean, which makes it kind of hard. But I want to upload onto like SoundCloud. What does this mean? Like, what? Do, what? Do, oh, being inspired helps with music skills. Okay, you're not telling me what any of this means. I wanna. I want him to start releasing some of his music because he's got like a lot of songs. So can he release them onto SoundCloud? Like, is that what's happening now? Man, how could they break so much stuff for this update? Like, seriously? How? Okay, he's just singing some of his own songs. Oh, I remember him writing this one. I remember him writing this one, so that's fine. And oh my gosh, Summer's got, the, Summer's got the fame walk. Somewhere along the lines, Summer got the fame walk. She's listened to him and playing his music, though. Where's Cobster gone? Where's Koberu? Oh, wow. Everybody wants to come in and listen to you sing. That's how good you are. Oh, well done, Fran. Oh, Kobe's having a little pee for himself. Okay, why don't we see if he wants to spend the night? Okay, so he's spending the night. And he is starting to drop a few compliments. You know what? You guys you guys just, just do... He is pretty tired. Just go sit and chill and just sort of... Uh, you do you, okay? Phoenix, eat little sad pancakes and then get some sleep. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. This household just stays up so late. Okay, they're blowing each other kisses and stuff. I don't know whether they'll just woo on their own. Like, they've got full romance and full, like... Like, they love it. Like, two sims, one heart. But I've just never seen them really do much apart from blow each other kisses and do romantic scenes. Oh my gosh, some of the guys are so tired. Like, oh my gosh, his eyes are actually creeping me out. They're so tired. They kind of look like beetles. He's so tired, but she's he's paying her compliments. So she's just like, I want to say you said again. Say it one more time. Oh, do some sit-ups. That's nice. Oh, now she's singing to him. Oh, Summer, you cutie bean. Oh, he's loving that. He is loving that. I, I'm going to suggest, though. Oh, Salem's hiding under the bed. I'm going to suggest you get some sleep because you are real tired. Ooh, and it's TV season premiere. Probably one of Summer's new shows. We all have to watch it every single time. One of her movies comes out, we have to watch it. V, you need to head back into your room, please. Why don't you uh, call Salem to eat and get him out from Summer's bed? Oh, he just crawled out. Okay, friends up. I'm going to keep trying stuff for this mod. I think the last thing I did made everybody come and like watch him like <laughs> what could these things mean what what is this i don't know what it means i don't know what it's he's like doing right now but i feel like <laughs> it's you? something that's quite a big yes, deal gosh. so i'm hyped i don't know what just happened but he seems <laughs> real happy about it sims why you do this why you install script mods at the worst possible time i'm just basically clicking all of them and see what they do <laughs> thing is i can't tell what they do because it won't show me oh wow this dude's just turned up in our, in our house is he is he part of the mod Ooh, no! 
have us. I feel like he's come around for a reason, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I can't see anything. I mean, he's doing something. Oh, man! Why script moms have to break? I don't understand what I just did. I want him to be able to work on albums and release them. But, like... <laughs> I can't see whatever it is that he's trying to do. I don't know if I'm meant to sing in front of this guy. And then if he likes it, he will like sign me. Oh, and obviously he's getting attacked by Salem. Obviously, because that just always happens. Man, this one I feel is going to be much more fun once we've actually realized what we're supposed to be doing with it. Because that dude definitely turned up for the mod and he's paying loads of attention to Fran. Fran just doesn't have any idea what this has got to do with it. And I'm boosting his confidence. I just don't really know how. Okay, the guys listen to him sing. He's really getting over his strange fight, isn't he? He's so good though, like he should be able to. Oh, Fran, you're so good. Phoenix is still feeling so down. I'm gonna get her to chat with Nathan. They don't get to see each other as much now because they're live. <laughs> Sorry. Because their lives are so different, but I still think just having a little chit chat with him will put her in a better mood. And oh my gosh, a lady who told you you could have black hair? How long has that been like that? Why did none of you tell me? Me and Phoenix are meant to be like twin Aroonies right now. Even though she grew a fringe out right after I cut mine. Awkward. There you go. Now you've got the right hair color, and I'm hoping that chit chatting with Nathan is gonna help make you feel a lot better. I think she suits a softer brow and white hair so much much more can we just say i feel like she's evolved from like teen um phoenix to like grown up woman phoenix i don't know how long she's got to be a woman like before like she doesn't have a huge amount of life with her but let's just do what we can and i wanted uh i wanted to do something tonight but phoenix is too sad so i'm gonna get us just keep working through her feelings she's writing her feelings online she's writing in a journal like i just don't want the same thing to happen again and i'm aware that she's very sad so i'm just doing everything in my power to make her feel happy <gasps> fran just finished writing her new song i'm gonna call it i'm called her these sound tired because i'm just talking nonsense i'm gonna call it she came back what could that be about? I do not know. Whenever he finishes, he needs to pee so badly. I feel like it's kind of a bit of torture at this point. Ooh, she wants to play the guitar from being sad. I don't even know if she can play the guitar. Go away, MCC exceptions. <laughs> but you may as well give it a go if it's going to cheer you up, you know? Oh, yeah. The girls definitely need as much mentoring on the guitar from Fran as they can get because they ain't great right now. <laughs> they ain't great right now. Ooh, on a whim. Have a sim complete 10 whims at a single social event. Well done. Oh, we did not watch Summer's premiere. She's currently calling the sadness hotline and then she just went to go to bed. But she's got this whole thing where like, she doesn't know how long she's gonna be alive for. So you know what? While we're alive, we need to make the most of time with our friends and our loved ones. So Summer, we wanna watch, we wanna, eh, where am I off? What's just happening with Salem? I don't know why we just zoomed in on Salem, but Summer, come on, I wanna watch your premiere. I wanna be super impressed by your role. Apparently this, this is about Abel. Cause I mean, that's Abel right there. Tell me that I ain't able and I'll tell you you're a liar. Oh, so Summer's got to research the playful emotion for work. But honestly, I feel like it's the perfect time because she's just been super silly. And although Phoenix is crying a bit in between. Oh my gosh, she's hysterical. Be careful. We are trying to cheer her up the best we can. Maybe it only took uh, dying for Phoenix and Summer to actually have a better relationship. Only took death. It's not that much. I mean, she's trying to make a laugh. No, she is. Good. I love seeing like girls being like awesome, good, good fe- I hate the word females, but good females to one another, you know? Not taking uh, her out of a sad mood, but she's feeling good about the funny conversation at least. She still has- oh, she's only got 40 minutes of sadness left. <gasps> she had like 17 hours, like only a couple of hours ago. So I feel like this is really good. And Summer has definitely got the fame walk. A million percent. I don't know where she whipped that out from, but she's just started using it this episode. And I'm kind of loving it. What is Salem doing? <laughs> Salem babes, what's going on? Why are you just spinning around and around your food? Like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? 
in. You need a little reset, don't you? Oh, where you gone now? Oh, you reset into your friend's room. Okay, so it's Friday. Summer's got her audition today. And as long as Phoenix is in a good enough mood, she has herself a little, uh... Oh my gosh, someone's building a shrine to someone wants a look of her hair. Lock of her hair. Wow. As long as Phoenix is in a good enough mood, she has some plans for friends. Uh, I also need to practice that guitar for friends, so... Can you be on, like, breakfast duty today? And allow Summer to practice a guitar for audition? Thanks. Oh my gosh, look at her just walking in. Like, what? watch how slowly she walks now. Look. Oh. My. Gosh. Look at damn hips. Look at that butt. Look how Summer is walking. She's got that vibe now where, like, I feel like people will genuinely be able to recognize that she's, like, famous. Just from how she puts herself out there. Which is pretty amazing. While oh, she looks all beautiful and slim doing her little model walk. We're eating pancakes and pasta in the kitchen. I know where I would be sat. <laughs> and Phoenix is happy. Yes, okay, let's tell Fran about the plans for tonight. You know, look, I've got this new thing in life where I'm doing, I'm trying stuff. Um, I'm just, if I feel the way, I'm just getting it out of my system. And if I want to do something, I'm just doing it, okay? And I want to take you out somewhere special tonight. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I'm just going to, like, bring you there. How does that sound? I don't think Fran's quite used to this new super happy. He's used to a melancholy Phoenix. But I think he's kind of liking it happy Phoenix as well. Oh, what? <laughs> Did you see the icon today? It was like... Something in your eyes. That's what I saw. And Fran, please may you clean the kitchen because it is totally gross. While I give Salem some loves. Salem the cat from Holly. Tell me Salem didn't know when uh, Phoenix had already got home. Holly's cats are magic. There's a reason that, you know, cats are associated with uh, magic and whatnot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kobe can't get me out of his mind. He wants to go to a restaurant. That's the restaurant to be seen at, so I know exactly why he's inviting me there. However, I've got an audition soon and I need to practice guitar. Oh, kind of could have sent her, you know. I could have sent her. Okay, Summer's going to her big audition. Oh my gosh, you never got a chance to sleep. Uh, just do your best, Summer, okay? Go smash it. Oh my gosh, I actually can't get over her walk. I've seen it on- oh no, she's- As soon as I say that, she starts jogging. But I've seen it on other Sims, but just to see it on one of your own. Especially since it kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, and I've got fame points to spend. What should I spend them on? Established name. Oh, skip acting auditions. Oh my gosh, get you in my life right now. Gain reputation faster. Donate objects to fans for fame. Uh, I kind of want to go up this career hopper one instead. I want to go to Easy Street. I like the sound of that place. So let's let's just do that one for now. And let's get her working real hard at this audition. Just good vibes all around in this room. We've got a putty cart. We've got someone playing the guitar beautiful. Beautifully. Phoenix is looking super happy on her PC, organizing stuff for tonight. It's just wholesome and happy and good, and you guys know how I feel about that jam. That's my jam. Oh, look, he's feeling anxious about tonight now. Oh my gosh, come and get yourself a little bubble bath. That'll sort you right out. Also, just as an FYI, you might want to be putting this guitar in your inventory. <gasps> he's lost a celebrity level. Okay, no wonder he's feeling anxious. Maybe you just put a tweet out and say, oh, plans for this evening, keep you guys posted. And did you guys know you can play with the cat wand, even when the cat's on a bed? I did not know that. I thought it had to be- Oh no, it's telling him to come down so he can play with the cat wand. I see. I thought you could play with them on the bed. I love Salem with his big crazy eyes. So cute. I love how he hates everybody except from um, Phoenix. He sometimes likes Fran as well. Okay, are you guys ready to head on into town? In fact, Fran, you've not had a new outfit in so long. I'm sorry about that. Let's get you a new like clothing ensemble ready for tonight. You, I wonder if we could do anything different with his hair. I kind of love his hair though. Like his hair is like a big part of him. It would take a lot to make me change Fran's hair. All I'll say is uh, you want to make sure you're looking good tonight. Oh, I have this cute shirt, but no trousers that go up high enough for it. <laughs> okay, I thought this was pretty cute. I just, I'm just a fan of like these black boots. I have the, um, <laughs> Timberlands. I have black Timberlands and I love them so much. They're so awesome. I've also got not the six inch heel ones. There's like an in-betweeny size. I've got that in like the tan color. Love them so much. So comfy. Oh, I forgot to do Phoenix. 
I'm sorry, what the heck? I, I spent half of my game is spent on this screen right here. I like that because you can see her tattoos through, but I'm not quite sure if it's quite her vibe. That's cute. Oh my gosh, it's so short. Why is everything so short? Oh my gosh, if she wears this dress, you can see like her under boob tattoos so well. It's quite a lot though. Kind of downloaded the skirt with Phoenix in mind. <laughs> And then she died before I got to put it on her. But now I can. Oh, I have this bra. It has zero support. Okay, this is the out. Oh, wait, I need to change the boots. But this is the outfits I've gone for Phoenix. It's a little bit cheeky. It's like a little peaky one, but she's got like a fancy bra underneath to make up for it. <laughs> I like these boots. They're cute. Oh, we got the higher ones, which I love as well. Cause like I can put roses on these too. Pow. Okay, I'm digging it. You look so freaking cute. It's like this necklace was just made for you. Oh my gosh, I want to put that on her because it's so cute, but it's so unnecessary. I might give her these contacts just because she likes wearing a good contact and it just takes her eyes down a notch, which I think isn't a bad thing. Okay, Phoenix is ready to go to. Excited. Okay, so they're leaving in like 10 minutes. Just finishing getting ready in the mirror, trying to psych herself up a little bit, making sure that she looks good. You look great. You look great, Phoenix. And Fran is in here not really quite sure what's going on, but try to, try to like calm down. Try and be like, I feel, this feels weird. Like this feels really weird. Like I kind of feel almost like, nah, it's not a date. It's, it's just, it's Phoenix. I don't know what she's got planned, but it'll be fun. Just the, all the adorable, like pre big event. I don't want to say date, just pre big event nerves because Phoenix has got some pretty big plans for this. And Fran might be on the wise. Up, but I feel like he yeah. kind of knows that you know when you just know by the way someone asks you to go Forward. to something that it's like uh it's different to how they normally Jump ask America. okay so let's call a cab and Phoenix has got the postcode <laughs> and we're gonna head to the foundry bar okay 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 I'm annoyed that the weather is so shocking but all the same it's happy hour at the bar so can we get drinks for everybody please just coming here is giving Fran some more fame that's good so usually they just order a beer but I don't know there's something about the vibe tonight that kind of calls for wine Phoenix what have you done with your wine I literally just poured you it oh she took it she took my wine. And I think Fran's probably clocked up behind him. She's there is a whole setup for performing a gig, oh. which is exactly <laughs> what Phoenix has in mind. She's like, I know you're a great singer and I know your confidence is getting up. And I also know you've got some songs of your own that you've written. So I brought you here so that you could give performing a go. Okay, he's so nervous that he's actually got two glasses of wine. Okay, it's getting pretty busy. We've got paparazzi here. It's now on another Fran. I know you're super super nervous but are you gonna be brave enough to give it a go okay guys he's got the liquid confidence on the go like the front of a couple months ago would never have dared do this but phoenix has really helped to push him and she's here with him right throughout all his fears tonight oh my gosh guys i think he's going for it i think he's gonna go and sing one of his songs this bar is rammed i feel like this could have been quite a good time and phoenix is gonna go sit i, I don't i think it's more of a gig i think you're literally gonna have to stand up if you want to hear it okay you can go over this one's called Not My Dream. This is a song about not wanting to be an actor. I wanted to be a singer instead. Oh, it's so cute. People like it. People are paying him. People are paying him. Oh my gosh, he's getting a lot of money. He's getting a lot of money right now. And this is such a crowded venue. Like, he's honestly doing well because there's people everywhere. I just want to listen to him though. I think he's got a beautiful voice. Oh. I wonder if you can download my like, tracks for this, because that would be so nice. Oh, you little cutie pie, and look at your biggest fun, like literally just watching you. Like, look at, look at her face. <laughs> like literally, you'd notice her in the middle of an audience, also Ruben, but you would just notice her. Look at her face. Oh, she's loving it so much. Oh, wow, she's loving it. She, he's like, this is a bit much. Oh my gosh, he's literally getting swamped by fans. Like, he's literally just getting swamped so much. They love it. They actually love it. Okay, here's what he said he wrote for Phoenix. Oh. 
This is the first, like, story of Hardware Sims where it's songs about each other. So it's just like, I'm finding it so cute and adorable. And I think, judging by Phoenix's face, she is as well. She's almost like, I don't know, just like a proud... She's acting like a proud girlfriend right now. She is literally acting like a proud girlfriend right now. And honestly, look at the crowd. Look at the crowd that's gathered to watch him, including a few dead bodies. But people absolutely love him. Like, people love him. Noelle's gonna be signing him in a heartbeat. You just know it. But I think as soon as he finishes the song, he he's a bit nervous about the crowds. So I think they're gonna go ahead and sneak their butts out of here to the roller rink. So they've got now a beautiful little skate session going on together. Oh my gosh. This has turned very romantic very quickly. But I'm kind of loving it. I I'm kind of loving this so much. I don't think either of them have ever skated before. Oh my gosh, synchronized falling. Wow, 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 wow. This is so pretty. Oh, be careful. You be careful too, Fran. And I think Fran is just so happy that Phoenix managed to push him out of his shell and try something new. Something that I don't think he would have ever been brave enough to do on his own. And they're both such little creative sims. They're kind of like two peas in a pod. I don't think anyone other than Phoenix knows right now that she doesn't have as long as everybody else. Which makes this all the more bittersweet because it's taken her a long time to meet someone that she connects with on this level. Other than Nathan, but that's her cousin, you know? <laughs> and I wish there was like an way- uh, Is there a way to express gratitude? I've told him to um, express admiration, but it's more like gratitude. I want him to like, just to say thank you. Thank you for tonight, because she booked it and everything. She did all of it. And I guess she's gonna say i kind of had planned this a while ago but oh my gosh can you not can you not this is a nice moment okay yeah fine first day asleep she's like i'd planned this for a while ago but i just kind of never got around to it and then it was almost too late and with everything that's happened i've made a pact with myself to never ever leave things until they're too late and if i feel a certain way act on it like i've got no time left because you never know when you might go and he's gonna be like i like that mindset i want to write a song based on that she's like i thought you already wrote a song about me and he's like fine another one another song okay another song i can't help but you're inspiring and with that there's kind of the first little buds of romance between these two and he's like okay i'm gonna see what i can jam right now and just gonna give it a go my heart would literally melt hearing a guy like literally sing a song for me i'm not surprised your cheeks are going red phoenix i would be like Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of glad at this point that she came clean to Summer and told Summer that she'd liked Fran. I don't think Summer minds. I don't think she ever quite saw Fran seriously. But in my mind, Fran was always meant to end up with Phoenix. I'm sorry for those of you guys that like Summer, but he was basically made for for her. That was kind of always my end goal. That was always gonna be canon for me because I just feel like yeah. they're such a cute couple. I've always just thought they've always looked at each other huh. in like such a nice way, even like before oh. there was any romance. Oh, they've just always had like the cutest expressions yeah, yeah. for each other. And oh my gosh, they've been hanging out so long that they've switched off the public lights because the sun is gonna rise soon. And they're just so Roasting a few little marshmallows and whatnot by the fire. I know this is moving fairly fast, but for Phoenix, can people still stop crashing? Like, go away! You ain't invited. Thanks for the log. Now go. Oh wow! I mean, he he definitely took the hint. He threw the log and he went. But yeah, Phoenix doesn't have as much time as everyone else, so she sort of needs to take things a little bit faster. Ooh. Although maybe not your food when it's just come off the fire, Phoenix. Give that a little bit longer. And oh my gosh, what? you guys are flirting a lot. You guys are flirting a lot. But she keeps, I've, she's been eating loads of marshmallows, but she's burnt her mouth so much that it's not even increased her hunger. Not even once, not even at all. Okay, I think you need to come clean and tell Fran that, like just explain to him that you don't have as long as other girls. He needs to be aware of that going in because it's, it's a pretty big deal. Go away, MCC. She's like, Oh my gosh, okay, I told you to hold hands. I told them to hold hands. 
But apparently they wanted to go and throw a first kiss instead. I mean, I'm not complaining if that's what you guys want to do. She's gonna explain that things will have to be a little bit faster in their relationship than they would in others. He's like, I feel like I've known you all my life anyway. This isn't like starting a new relationship. This is just like dating your best friend. So it's a little bit different. And oh my gosh, they're hitting on each other hard right now. They are hitting on each other hard right now. I love how their romance, like their oh, autonomous romance keeps being broken up by them like being like, Jeff deep conversation, enthused about guitar Jeff solos. Jeff like, let's just Jeff mix that here. into the romance. And they're wanting to go order more drinks. I'm like, it's 8 a.m. in the morning. You need to get butts home, actually. So despite the fact that other parts of this relationship might need to rush, I don't, he's giggling his sleep. I don't want them to rush into uh, Moo Moo's. I just want them to get a good night's sleep. But I don't mean that much, not that fast, okay? Get back to sleep. Because at some point they're gonna have to explain everything to summer she's looking miserable but it's actually just because she really needs a wee i don't know if seeing that though is gonna make her kind of be like a bit oh wow that's a slow movement through that door there very oh my gosh oh my gosh look at her getting to the toilet oh <laughs> but yeah i don't know if she'll look at that and kind of think they've got this super deep real relationship and mine kind of feels a little bit superficial and showbiz in comparison but i don't know if she's gonna act on that you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments below did you enjoy this episode did you enjoy the romance that has been one of the longest setting up romances i've ever done hopefully you guys did like they've gone through life and death to get together those two if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.